फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू फिफ्टीन वीक फ्रॉम सिक्स एप्रिल टू ट्वेल्थ एप्रिल बिफोर गोइंग इन टू द डिटेल्ड एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द वीक आई वुड लाइक टू टेल द इंपॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स the prime minister's visit to three nations that is france germany and canada visit to france occurred this week and the other important aspects are launch of pradhan mantri mudra yojana pradhan mantri mudra yojana then prime minister's announcement of increasing input subsidy for farmers increase of input subsidy for farmers one more important aspect is in 10 cities national air quality index was launched then launch of mission indradhanush then other important aspect is uh, try reducing uh, roaming charges and social progress index india stands at 101 out of 133 countries by the year 2022 460 million people are to be skilled the other important aspect is nationwide ceasefire agreement in myanmar then china plans to build 540 km railway line through mount everest by boring a tunnel through mount everest these are the items and many more this week right let us go one by one The first and the foremost visit of this week is the visit of our Prime Minister to France. Prime Minister started his three-nation tour. The tour of France is the first in the itinerary, and we are going to discuss important aspects of the visit of the Prime Minister to France. Right? In France, we are all very well known. UNESCO is headquartered in Paris. the prime minister addressed unesco unesco is nothing but an organ of united nations so united nations educational scientific and cultural organization headquartered in paris it is also known as the intellectual agency of united nations while addressing unesco the prime minister stated two important points first and the foremost important point is my government will defend the rights of citizens of all faiths the prime minister categorically stated my government will defend rights of citizens of all the faiths and the second important point is culture must connect but not divide and at unesco prime minister launched a portal for international day of yoga we all very well know international day of yoga is going to be celebrated for the first time on june 21st and in this connection the prime minister launched a portal for international day of yoga developed by tech mahindra the other issue of the prime minister's visit to france important announcement is the purchase of 36 rafel jets in flyaway condition what is the meaning of flyaway condition flyaway condition means they will be purchased directly and they will be put into service there is no question of any assembling there is no question of any indian parts totally assembled jets will be purchased in flyaway condition from france these are manufactured by dassault aviation of france these 36 jets were purchased and there are view and counter view for this i would like to explain both for the past several years purchase of rafael aircrafts 126 numbers of rafael aircrafts could not be finalized by this country whatever the reason 126 aircrafts 126 fighter jets rafael fighter jets are supposed to be purchased by the government of india but during the past several years the agreement could not take place and 
the prime minister took a decision to purchase 36 numbers straight away from France. This is the important decision took by the prime minister in France. Government of India could not finalize for several years for purchase of 126 numbers of fighter jets. That's why this decision became imminent. It is unavoidable. Let us look at the other aspects. Reports say that there are very few takers for this Rafale aircraft. This Rafale aircraft is less fuel efficient. This is as per the emanating reports. Brazil recently cancelled similar agreement last year. And as the jets are proposed to be purchased in flyaway condition, there is no technology transfer involved, which ultimately may affect Make in India program. So these are the views and counter views. Let us look into the other aspect. The Prime Minister and the President, French President Francois Holland have now Pecharcha discussions on board. You are all very well familiar about the Chai Pecharcha, but now it is the Nau Pecharcha in La Seine River, famous river in Paris. The second important aspect after Rafale is important decision or you can say some breakthrough with regard to the Jaitapur nuclear power project. Jaitapur nuclear power project is also pending for several years. Now, the Prime Minister ultimately took a decision and an agreement was signed between Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited and Areva. Areva is the firm from France. Agreement was signed with regard to the establishment of Jaitapur Power Project in Maharashtra between Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited and Areva. Another agreement was signed between Areva and LNT because the comment previously was the cost of power proposed to be produced at Jaitapur is substantially high in comparison to other nuclear power plants. Now to increase the local manufacture of some components, an agreement was signed between Areva and Larson and Tubro. This is another milestone. That means two important issues were solved during the visit of Indian Prime Minister to France. One is purchase of Rafale aircraft. Second one is the issue with regard to the Jaitapur nuclear power project. These two issues were solved and Prime Minister is known for taking decisions which was evident during the visit of Barack Obama to India also. The other aspects with regard to France. President of France announced that France will invest 2 billion euros in India. 2 billion euros in India. The other important aspect is 10,000 Indian soldiers died in First World War, which took place between 1914 and 1918. And Sri Narendra Modi is the first Prime Minister of India to visit the war memorial, which is situated in the northern city of Lille. He is the first Indian Prime Minister to visit the war memorial, which is situated in the northern city of Lille. The other important aspect is the Prime Minister visited the manufacturing facility of Airbus at Toulouse in France. Manufacturing facility of Airbus at Toulouse in France and Airbus stated that it will increase the outsourcing budget to India from 400 million dollars to 2 billion that means 5 times 400 million dollars to 2 billion dollars that is five times Airbus stated that they will increase the outsourcing budget. So, after addressing the Indian diaspora at Paris, Prime Minister further continued his tour to Germany and the tour to Germany and Canada we will discuss in the next week lecture and let us move on to the other important events of the week. Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana was inaugurated by the Prime Minister. We all very well know. Mudra Bank was announced to in the budget speech. Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana is basically 
to support microfinance institutions through Mudra Bank. This was started with 20,000 crore rupees of corpus and 3,000 crore rupees of credit guarantee corpus. What is credit guarantee corpus? If a person from a village background, if a person with the cottage industry goes to bank for loan, they will ask for collateral security. But most of the poor people are unable to give collateral security and for these people, government will give collateral security. That is called credit guarantee corpus. For that, 3000 crore rupees were kept. Now, after the notification, please remember Mudra Bank will act as a refinance agency and regulator for microfinance institutions. Microfinance institutions are for very small loans. At the same time, I would like to tell you one more point. In this occasion, government announced that there will be three schemes of loans under Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana. The names given are Shishu. The loans up to 50,000 rupees will be called a Shishu. 50,000 rupees to 5 lakh will be called a Kishore. And 5 lakh rupees to 10 lakh rupees will be called Tarun. Please don't forget these figures. Shishu, Kishore and Tarun, these are the loans which are proposed to be given under Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana. Right? The guidelines are yet to be given with regard to the functioning of Mudra Bank. Right friends, look at the next one. Prime Minister announced 50% increase in input subsidy to farmers. I would like to give two points in this. Prime Minister made two important announcements. One is, previously, farmers were eligible to subsidy or input subsidy when the crop loss was 50%. Previously, when the crop loss was 50% or more than 50%, they were eligible for input subsidy. But now, the Prime Minister relaxed it and as per the new dispensation, even though the crop loss is 33%, farmers are eligible for input subsidy. Please don't forget, if the crop damage is even 33% or more than 33%, now farmers are eligible for input subsidy. The second important announcement is, the input subsidy is increased by 50%. These two announcements, keeping in view the condition of farmers, please don't forget. Look into the next one. Undocking of first of the Scorpion class submarine. This is the submarine. In India, the name given is Calvary. What is the meaning of undocking? Undocking means Taking it out from manufacturing plant is undocking. Docking opposite is undocking. This was manufactured by Mazagon Docks Limited of Mumbai with assistance from France. And the name given is the Calvary. It is going to manufacture total six. This is the first one. Recently it was undocked. Undocked means it was taken out of Mazagon docks and sent into the sea on experimental basis. And what it will do? An attack can be launched. An attack can be launched. You can see the Scorpion submarine. An attack can be launched from torpedoes. You see the torpedo in the picture. An attack can be launched from the torpedoes. And the other one is, it can also be launched from tube-launched anti-ship missiles. An attack can be launched either from torpedoes, you can look into this picture, or attack can be launched from tube-launched anti-ship missiles, you can see this in the picture. So, this is the Scorpion class of submarine built by Mezagon Docks Limited in Mumbai with the assistance of France. Right, friends? 
other important aspect let us see government launches a national air quality index this air quality index is launched it is a color based color green is absolutely safe and the severe pollution is a maroon color it starts with green goes up to maroon color it is launched in 10 cities and at the same time it monitors five important pollutants it monitors five important pollutants like so2 co co means carbon monoxide NO2 O3 O3 means ozone and particulate matter 2.5 micron size these five are monitored by this air quality index these five are monitored through this air quality index and this is launched in 10 cities initially and government says it is going to be covered in the cities where the population is 1 million plus that means it is going to be extended to all the cities where the population is 10 lakhs or more friends look at the next one mission indradhanush this was launched the program was announced on december 25 the day of good governance december 25 this was launched on world health day world health day is 7th april it was launched across 201 districts of the country where the vaccination level is less out of 201 districts 82 districts are in four states and it covers seven diseases and at present the vaccination is 65% across the country vaccination is 65% across the country government wants to increase it 5% every year that means by 2020 government wants to bring the level of vaccination to 90% within 5 years it wants to increase from 65% to 90% of vaccination across the country so mission indradhanush is launched across the country in 201 districts right friends look at the next one pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bhima yojana several banks are signing memorandum of understandings with the life insurance corporation of india pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bhima yojana here this program is intended for 18 to 50 years age group 18 to 50 years age group if someone joins in this program between 18 and 50 years risk will be available up to 55 years risk of cover lasts up to 55 years but it is eligible for individuals between 18 to 50 years please don't forget and the annual premium is rupees 330 and it gives insurance coverage of rupees 2 lakhs if someone dies due to some unfortunate incident he will get rupees 2 lakhs and this program is going to be implemented across the country from 1st june 2015 and this was announced in the budget along with pradhan mantri suraksha bhima yojana in pradhan mantri suraksha bhima yojana we will discuss next week but please remember pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bhima yojana premium is rupees 330 age group 18 to 50 years but the risk cover is available up to 55 years and if someone dies he will get rupees 2 lakhs and the premium annually rupees 330 right friends look into the next one ramalinga raju and nine others sentenced to 7 years rigorous imprisonment this is the infamous sachem computers case in the year 2009 on january 7th Ramalinga Raju of Sachem Group admitted that he forged the accounts that means he showed more amounts in the balance sheets but actually those amounts were non existent forging the accounts means showing the amounts in balance sheets but actually they were not existent he admitted in the year 2009 subsequently a case was filed and ultimately ramalinga raju and nine others were sentenced to 7 years rigorous imprisonment ramalinga raju and his brother ramaraju were fined 
5.5 crores each and remaining people have to pay 50 lakh fine each this is with regard to the Sachem fraud case and now Sri Ramalingaraju will be behind bars for 7 years and this is considered to be one of the biggest frauds in the corporate world as Sri Ramalingaraju confessed that he fudged 7136 crores and immediately stock market that particular stock crashed by 78 percent the ultimate the losers were the investors whose stock prices plunged by 78 percent due to the announcement of Ramalingaraju that he forged the accounts in the year 2009 right friends look at the next issue Troy reduces national roaming tariff there is substantial reduction roaming charges you are customer of one circle if you enter another circle it is treated as roaming in roaming outgoing STD was reduced from rupees 150 per minute to rupees 115 per minute substantial reduction is there in outgoing SMS local and outgoing SMS to other circle if you are sending a message while you are in roaming to your friend in another circle previous charges were rupees 150 now they are reduced to 38 paise similarly local that means within the circle when you are in roaming the charges of sms reduced from rupees 1 to 0.25 that means 25 paise so substantial reduction in the sms charges look into the next issue social progress index this is uh, released by United States of uh, America firm Social Progress Imperative and India stands at 101st position out of 133 countries. It is based on 52 indicators of uh, social and environmental performance of the country and India stands at 101st position and Unfortunately, behind our peers, behind our neighbors, Sri Lanka at 88, Nepal even at 98 and we are at 101 position, lagging much behind our Asian peers and please look into this picture, Norway is in first position, Sweden second position, Switzerland third position. As far as human development or as far as social indicators are concerned, these countries always much ahead, almost standing number 1, 2, 3 in the world. Countries like Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, New Zealand, right? Please look into the next one. India needs to upskill or reskill 460 million people by 2022. Recently, National Skill Development Corporation engaged famous consultancy firm KPMG it is the multinational consultancy group and as per the report given by KPMG two important points by the year 2022 India needs to upskill or reskill 460 million people skill development is very important aspect now for the country if you look at carpenter if you look at plumber they are still working with the outdated tools reskilling is very much required what is reskilling what is upskilling Reskilling is importing skills to a carpenter by taking out the outdated tools and giving modern tools and modern methods of working that is reskilling. Upskilling means if a person is working as at this level, suppose if a person is working as carpenter to make him mystery or to make him supervisor level, that is upskilling. Upskilling means to take him one or two positions much ahead. Reskilling means to bring him out of the outdated technology or to bring him out of outdated methods. By the year 2022, as per the KPMG report, India needs to upskill or reskill 460 million people across 24 sectors. The second important aspect is human resource requirement by the year 2022. That means Within next 7 years, India needs 110 million workforce. That means 11 crore new jobs are going to be created. 
during the next seven years. That is the report of KPMG. Most of the jobs are going to be created in building and construction, retail sector, beauty and wellness, transportation and logistics. These sectors are going to create several jobs in future. Please look into the next one. Fifty-eight million children still out of primary school. Recently, UNESCO gave its report. As per the UNESCO report, almost fifty-eight million children across the world are still out of school. The second important aspect is several countries agreed in the year two thousand to implement the six parameters. pertaining to education by 2015 but only one third of the countries met the goals only one third of the countries met the goals and second important point is enrollment in afghanistan increased and in nigeria deteriorated there is a price for afghanistan at the same time nigeria the education standards got deteriorated in recent times india was praised for bringing out of school children by 90% india was praised for reducing out of school children by 90% this report is given by unesco recently look into the next one nationwide ceasefire agreement with the 16 ethnic armed groups when you look at myanmar there are several ethnic groups who are fighting for their own identity who want autonomy always fighting goes on between armed groups and the government recently nationwide ceasefire agreement was signed with 16 ethnic armed groups let us hope peace to prevail in myanmar as government signed ceasefire agreement with armed groups what is ceasefire agreement ceasefire agreement means no one should resort to firing they have to let down the arms that means whatever the difficulty whatever the problem is to be solved through negotiations there will not be any firing that is ceasefire agreement friends look into the next issue china plans to build Tibet Nepal railway through Everest China recently opened Qinghai Tibet railway around 5 6 years ago and now they want to extend this railway line to Nepal border it involves boring a tunnel below mount everest you all very well know mount everest is the tallest mountain in the world and by Digging a tunnel below Mount Everest, China plans to connect Nepal by train. Let us look at the next issue. first monetary policy of 2015-16 the first monetary policy means this financial year the first monetary policy in the month of april raghuram rajan holds the rates there are two issues here one is reserve ratios the second one is policy rates these are looked into every two months he can revise the rates in between also but normally this monetary policy is announced once in two months this is the first monetary policy for this financial year and sri raghuram rajan has not touched the rates they will stand as it is now crr at 4% slr at 21.5% repo rate will be at 7.5% reverse repo is 6.5% and marginal standing facility at 8.5% these rates raghuram rajan has not changed 
because during the past few months he reduced repo rate by 0.5% from 8% to 7.5% and he expressed his unhappiness that banks has not passed on the benefit to the customers he expressed his unhappiness as the banks has not passed on the benefit to the customers and repo rate is the rate at which rbi charges from banks or financial institutions when banks take money from rbi for short duration so 7.5% is the interest rate rbi charges when banks take loans from rbi for shorter duration that means it gives a signal to the market about the interest rate structure right most important aspect of this monetary policy is the limit of loans given by microfinance institutions to individual borrowers previously microfinance institutions used to give loans up to rupees 50000 now it is increased to rupees 1 lakh please don't forget this is important announcement in the monetary policy look into the sports and games Sultan Azlan Shah Trophy of hockey please don't forget the Sultan Azlan Shah hockey tournament is the men's hockey tournament Sultan Azlan Shah ninth king of Malaysia in his name this tournament was started being held every year in Malaysia it is the men's hockey tournament this year it was held at uh, Ipoh in Malaysia six countries participated and india got bronze medal india defeated south korea to get bronze medal and gold has gone to new zealand new zealand defeated australia so new zealand are the winners and australia runners up india got third prize bronze medal in this sultan azlan shah hockey tournament this is held every year in the name of king of malaysia last but not the least is sania mirza wins her 25th wta doubles title martina hinges of switzerland and sania mirza won the miami open doubles trophy miami open is in florida in united states of america and this is the sania's 25th wta doubles title wta recognized doubles title and This is the 25th victory of Sania Mirza and in the men singles of Miami Open world's number 1 Novak Djokovic of Serbia won the finals Serena Williams of United States of America world's number 1 won the women's singles title and please don't forget Sania Mirza wins her 25th the wta doubles title by winning the miami open with the martina hinges of switzerland friends let us conclude this lecture please do join for question and answer sessions have a nice day thank you